Hi class, my name is Miguel Gonzalez. Uh, I'll be talking about today two events that happened around 1902. The first one having to do with the film industry or American film industry at least. Uh, the beginning of the 1900s were essential for film here in the United States because a lot of people around this time were starting to move to California uh, filmmakers and actors to work in movies and particularly around 1902 was the opening of Tomas Talley's Electric Theater and this is important because Tomas Talley's Electric Theater was one of the first establishments to be solely dedicated for people to go watch movies. Before this time people didn't actually uh, do this, they will go to electronic businesses uh, where people will buy music, do other electronic related stuff, and they will find this device called a kinetoscope. And it's important me, for me to uh, uh, talk about the kinetoscope because uh, this device was something that people will go pay, they will stand in front of it, and they will look through this peephole and watch a scene that maybe lasted a couple seconds or a minute and it will show something like maybe a, a woman dancing or stuff like that and the electric theater was one of the first places where we'll move away from this and start projecting the film into a screen in front of an audience and movies started to last a little bit longer uh, a couple of minutes to 12 minutes and before this, uh, the movie industry didn't have a really good standing among the public opinion. People didn't like it. Uh, but this allowed more common folk to, you know, pay their five cents and go see movies. And it, that will start to change. And this will inspire more businesses to open around the country, which will later be called the Nickelodeons and Nickelodeons were just regular cinemas where people will go pay their five cents and go see shows. This will allow the movie companies or film companies to start profiting from making films uh, and it will start to get more popular. More people will want to be actors, become actors, filmmakers and work in the film industry. And people will start to invest, allowing the, this type of uh, work to grow, have a lot more profit, and become what we know as Hollywood and the American film industry today. Uh, or so to the beginnings. The second event that I'll be talking about is related to Paul Cisson, Paul Cisson, sorry if I'm butchering his name, um, is a French artist that invented a technique of inter indeterminate time. Basically, his paintings were made in a way where the sources uh, or the light and its sources uh, are hard to determine where they're coming from. So it's hard to tell what time it is or uh, of the day in the painting. Uh, for example, in this painting called Mont Saint Victory, which he actually painted a lot of times. And his work is important because uh, although his in, in, in work draws a lot from Impressionism, he also is basically one of the beginnings of the Cubism and who paved the way for this movement and inspire other artists to like Pablo Picasso and such. So it's a real uh, good little factor uh, about this year that seems to be interesting, interesting. So that's why I picked this year and these two events to share with you guys. Thank you. And this is some of my sources where I found my information so you can go and read them yourself. Thank you.